Against the west-facing escarpment of the Sacramento Mountains, Oliver Lee Memorial State Park features camping, hiking, historical exhibits, and a fully restored 19th century ranch house. Springs from Dog Canyon support a variety of plant and animal life. Set against the harsh landscape is a quiet green oasis where water flows year-round, and ferns cling to the sides of mossy rocks. This area, known as Dog Canyon, is one of many deep ravines that slice the west-facing flank of the Sacramento Mountains in southern New Mexico, and is steeped in history. The water in Dog Canyon has attracted people to the area for a millennia. 10,000 years ago, Native Americans settled in the canyon. They hunted mammoth and bison, and later gathered and foraged. 1,500 years ago, the Mogollon cultivated the land and left rock art behind. Next came the Apache, who defended Dog Canyon until 1881, when the United States Cavalry Buffalo Soldiers forced nearly all out. Francois Jean Rochus, Frenchy, immigrated to New Mexico in the mid-1880s. This Frenchman settled at the mouth of Dog Canyon, raising cattle and cultivating an orchard and vineyard on the site of what is now Oliver Lee Memorial State Park. In a letter, Rochus described his extensive garden. I am working on my vineyard. I have also put out some trees, some olives, some figs, apple, cherry, plum, peach, so as to have a little of everything. Soon after Christmas 1894, Frenchy was found dead in his cabin, shot through the chest. Although a coroner's jury concluded he shot himself with his own rifle, it seems more likely that he was murdered by cattlemen who owed him money. The mystery of the Frenchman's death has never been solved. Park visitors can view a partial reconstruction of Frenchy's two-room home, as well as the stone walls he built. These walls can be seen throughout the campground and on the sides of the mountains. It's believed the walls were used to corral his livestock. They may have also helped mark what he considered his property, even though he never formally homesteaded the area. The park's namesake, Oliver Milton Lee, was one of the most colorful figures in New Mexico history. At the age of 19, he and his half-brother brought their livestock from Texas to the area surrounding what is now Alamogordo, eventually establishing his ranch headquarters at Dog Canyon in 1893. The years from 1895 to 1905 were exciting ones in the Tularosa Basin. Along with the railroad, a great number of new settlers arrived. New towns and industry sprang up. The symptoms of this new growth in the last of the frontier west were fast-moving business deals for land and water, violence, and factional politics. Like many prominent citizens of the time, Oliver Lee was part of this new growth and became embroiled in various struggles for political position and control of productive enterprises in the territory of New Mexico. In about 1893, Francois Jean Rochus and Oliver Lee built a cement flume on the southwest wall of Dog Canyon. This channel carried water across the Frenchman's orchard to Lee's ranch headquarters over a mile away. Parts of this irrigation system still exist. Although Lee tapped into the freshwater spring for his ranch at Dog Canyon, he and his fellow ranchers soon discovered that the lack of good drinking water in the basin hampered their efforts to expand their livestock business. Potable water was difficult to find, and even their deepest wells had high mineral concentrations that made the water taste bad. Searching for a good, reliable water source Oliver Lee began to explore ways of tapping into the Sacramento River, that clear running perennial stream situated just above the crest of the mountains above Dog Canyon. In 1897, he sold his Alamo Canyon holdings to developer Charles Eddy and was instrumental in establishing the town of Alamogordo. As his New Mexico land holdings and influence grew, Lee faced more and more competition for the use of open range land. He became embroiled in the violent political rivalries between the predominantly Republican early settlers of southern New Mexico and the Democrat newcomers from Texas. Intermittent hostilities led to several indictments against Lee, including one for the murder of another prominent New Mexican, Colonel Albert J. Fountain. The evidence against Lee proved to be circumstantial, and in 1899, he was acquitted of the murder charge. In 1914, Lee was part of a group who created the Circle Cross Cattle Company. It soon became the largest ranching enterprise in southern New Mexico, 
controlling nearly one million acres of ranch land from Cloudcroft, New Mexico to El Paso, Texas. Although financial troubles in the 1920s forced dissolution of the company, Lee continued ranching. For many years, Lee was active in state and local politics. In 1922, he became state senator for Otero County. His death in 1941 marked the end of one of the most colorful careers in New Mexico history. The Lee property at Dog Canyon and the water rights were sold to the National Park Service in 1939 to supply drinking water for the new park at White Sands National Monument. In 1977, during the 33rd legislature for the state of New Mexico, funds were approved for the construction of Oliver Lee Memorial State Park at Dog Canyon to commemorate the life and times of this important New Mexico pioneer. Oliver Lee's home at Dog Canyon Ranch has been completely rebuilt from ruins. It is authentically furnished, providing visitors with a glimpse of Lee's life at the ranch. Some of the everyday items that the Lee family used during their residency from 1893 to 1907 are on display, including marbles, coins, cartridge casings, bottles, china doll fragments, dining utensils, poker chips, and sewing notions. Ruins of the barn, corrals, and slaughterhouse remain. Planners utilized historic photographs, archaeological evidence, and first-hand accounts from former residents to develop the reconstruction plans. The ranch house is located a little over a mile south of the visitor center. Oliver Lee's ranch house is open to the public by guided tour only. Contact the visitor center for current tour days and times. Special tours and programs are available upon request. A reliable water source in the desert always attracts wildlife. Dog Canyon harbors a small but valuable riparian zone. It supports trees such as cottonwood, hackberry, and willow that cannot survive in the open desert. Cattails, grasses, and other small plants help stabilize the stream banks and prevent erosion. Shaded limestone cliffs shelter unexpected treasures, ferns, columbines, and orchids. In Dog Canyon, you are likely to see desert cottontails, jackrabbits, javelina, striped and spotted skunks. Also present are coyotes, ringtails, gray foxes, raccoons, and mule deer. This location includes many types of birds. Many are brief visitors during their migration. The riparian ecosystem also supports invertebrates, reptiles, and amphibians, essential components of this riparian ecosystem. The oasis depends entirely on the perennial water in Dog Canyon. For thousands of years, the Dog Canyon Springs served as a camp for travelers in southern New Mexico. The canyon trail leading from the floor of the Tularosa Basin through Dog Canyon was used as an access route for groups of people moving from the desert lowlands to the Sacramento and Guadalupe Mountains. The trail winds through three vegetation zones. The Chihuahuan Desert, Scrub and Grassland, the Pinon Juniper, and the Ponderosa Pine Forest. The Dog Canyon National Recreation Trail provides a rigorous day hike up the western slope of the Sacramento Mountains. It climbs for about 3,100 feet from the visitor center at the mouth of Dog Canyon to an elevation of 7,500 feet at Joplin Ridge, leaving the park for the rugged terrain of the Lincoln National Forest. The trail is 5.5 miles, one way, through mostly desert environment, rocky and steep in some sections. The trail is essentially the same one used for over 4,000 years. First by prehistoric people seeking a route into the mountains, later by Apache, and then by historic ranchers. The trail climbs up the canyon's south slope for the first three miles, gaining about 1,400 feet before arriving at a grassy oasis of cottonwoods, willows, and the stream. Nearby are the remains of a small rock cabin built by ranchers in about 1930. Along the way, the views of the Tularosa Basin and glistening white gypsum of the White Sands National Park get progressively better. Sturdy hiking boots, trekking poles, and drinking water are strongly recommended. The trail is open year-round, but spring and fall are the best times to avoid extreme summer heat and unpredictable winter weather. Allow a full day round trip, or plan to camp at one of the rock ridges along the way. The Riparian Nature Trail is a short, scenic hike into the heart of Dog Canyon, 
alongside the spring-fed stream. It starts at the northwest corner of the visitor center and follows the approximate grade and location of Frenchie and Lee's irrigation ditch through desert shrubbery and shady cottonwoods. The trail ends at a picnic table overlooking the stream. A few stone steps take you into the small pool below the picnic table and a great place to cool off during the hot summer days. On the canyon wall near the picnic table is one of many seeps which provide not only water in the creek, but habitat for maidenhair fern, yellow columbine, helleborine orchids, and poison ivy. If you're hiking in the late spring through early fall, please be aware of this plant so you and your pets may avoid contact with it. Staff in the visitor center can help you if you're unsure about how to identify poison ivy. The trail to the picnic table is easy and a beautiful short walk. This trail has been subject to major floods and regular heavy runoff. The canyon we see today took 25 million years to make. The nature of Dog Canyon is to flood periodically, destroying everything in its path. If you choose to continue upstream or downstream, be aware, there is no longer a maintained trail. Expect slick surfaces and loose rocks. Feel free to explore upstream and downstream if you feel able. The upstream hike is particularly beautiful, featuring several pools and lovely grottos. In the summer months, you'll see tadpoles in the pools and dragonflies. The Lawson Springs Trail follows an old road from the campground at Oliver Lee Memorial State Park onto the Lincoln National Forest. The hike starts near Site 36 and is easy for the first half. Hikers will pass through a gap in one of Frenchie's walls as they begin the trip. On the Sacramento Mountains, south of the trail, you will see another rock wall, extending in a long straight line up the slope. The orchard planted by roaches was northeast of the trail. Creosote, mesquite, ocotillo, and assorted small cactus make this a beautiful walk in the spring during blooming season. The elevation gain is 100 feet in a little over a quarter mile. The climb begins as you approach a viewpoint looking up at the springs. The final portion gets increasingly rocky as you reach the base of the mountains and work your way up to the limestone terrace of the Lawson Springs. The trail ends at the first of the three terraces, with year-round springs and shady cottonwood trees. Hidden stock tanks amongst the creosote and mesquite reveal these springs were also used by early ranchers. A wide variety of wildlife use the water at Lawson Springs. There have also been mountain lion sightings in the area. In the fall, the largest cottonwood at the springs glows a beautiful yellow against the rugged mountains. The campground, just southwest of the mouth of Dog Canyon, is in typical Chihuahuan desert terrain. Dry and rocky with desert grasses, mesquite, ocotillo, creosote, yucca, and various species of cacti. Located on the rugged west slope of the Sacramento Mountains, the sites vary widely in elevation, offering privacy and incredible views across the Tularosa Basin. Sunsets can be spellbinding. There are 44 sites, 18 with electricity and water. The park also has showers and a dump station. The group area features four walk-in tent sites, one electric site, and can accommodate up to 75 people. Flowing water, abundant plants, and animals have attracted inhabitants to Dog Canyon for thousands of years. The mission of Oliver Lee Memorial State Park is to preserve and interpret the historical culture and natural resources of our beautiful oasis in the desert. Please help us protect this resource by taking only pictures and leaving only footprints.